So hello again, fair subs, and welcome in Surika, Mabuhai, and you are all back with me for excited. I am going to share to you collective hauls of Pandora rings. So here's a sneak peek. I put them here so I do not forget. Because <laughs> sometimes like I, I was like, okay, I'm going to film a collective haul. And then I put them on like my my uh, rings um storage or in my earring storage and they're like on different places so like it's better that i put them here so i don't forget and they're not gonna be mixed right away with uh, my old collection so that's so, that without further ado let's get started so here is our pretty setup Dude. like i have this for oh my gosh since january of <laughs> this year so finally yes let's do this and i am going to start off with the first ring right here and it's going to end with that ring over there so this one this ring the name of it is new beginning butterfly so this is the pandora new beginning butterfly ring with clear cc yes so if you have been watching and loving my Pandora rings video, I'm sure you have seen this already because I bought this two years ago and this is the old one that I have. And my original plan is like I wanted it to be like a full butterfly, but that's not going to happen. <laughs> because of course when you buy them, they're on the same side. The wings are on the same side. So it's going to look like this. It still could work, yes. Um, we can go ahead and try. So it's going to look like this. On, and you know how much I love doing it in, in the middle finger. A lot of my Pandora uh, lovely friends say that they always wanted to wear the rings um, on the index finger so they can showcase the band. But for me, you know, I've been doing this for three years now and... I love it in the middle finger all the time because it accentuates it. It's in the middle and it's just like shows there right away. But it's a nice butterfly wing. Yes. And then for the second one, ooh, this is long red tired one. And this is one of the proof that Pandora used to make heavy, sturdy, very nice silver rings so this one oh my gosh this is like about the the same weight of uh, this two together and uh, if you see there's some cubic zirconia right there in the middle so we have one two three four five uh, but the rest does not have and the name of this ring is the pandora bright lights ring yes okay that's a big one this is big oh i think um i got this because it's the only size available and i plan to use this one for stacking which i could probably do with the other rings later but um at least you know how it looks and sometimes i also do um rings or put rings on my thumb because why not <laughs> so that's that and then another one which is long retired is this ring i can actually stack them to uh, both of them together and this is just so pretty because it has swirls and then so half of the ring has swirls and then half of the ring or oh no th there's more swirls than the um gray pearls so one two three four five only five has gray pearls just like the other one only five um what should we call it round parts have cubic zirconia because i think they, they were released about the same time and this one is called the Pandora Ocean's Treasure with white pearl ring. Hmm, it looks like actually gray to me. But yeah. So, let's grab the Pandora Bright Lights silver ring. And then this one, which is the 
Pandora Ocean's Treasure. See? And now they work. This is so stunning. And I really like those swirls. Those are really cool. Design. So that's that and then I'm going to move on to the fourth ring. I gave the first one that I bought to my mom because she loved pearls and I'm collecting pearls for her also. Um, so it's this one and this fourth pearl ring is called the Pandora Cultured Elegance Stackable Ring with the white pearl. Right there so it's really nice because you could really see that the pearl is brown and it's being held by this silver petal like um, design in there because Pandora made some half pearl not the, not the entire round one on the last times that we we're still they're still doing some like a 20 after 2015 if i'm not mistaken i'm not sure but i do not have that pearl ring yet so yes and that's that and mom we're twinning because i finally have this for myself because i like pearl rings now also yes. hmm this one And this ring, very pretty, it's called the Pandora Pure Radiance White Quartzite. And I love my quartzite or white quartzite uh, compost earrings and that will be really cool to partner it with this one. Hmm, let me go ahead and grab it uh, and show that quartzite compost earring. So here is my white quartzite composed earrings and they're just so pretty. Oh my goodness. And it's just so nice that they could be paired together. Oh, I actually also noticed that this um, bubble part or design right here looks similar to the ring. Are they really meant to be partners? Hmm. To my Pandora friends who loves old retired Pandora, could you tell me if they came on the same story or same collection? Because that's pretty interesting if you notice right here, right? If you get what I mean? Oh, that is so cool. I should wear this today. <laughs> so that's that. And then I'm going to show how it looks on my index finger. This is a, a bigger size. Hmm, I forgot to show you the sizes. Yeah, this one is 54. So for size 54, I always wear them on my index finger. Um, here is a 48 and this one is 50 and this is 52, 54. Depending on how I stack them. Another pearl and I'm just really happy to have this one because it's quite unique. And this ring right here which is also hefty very nice back when the pandora are still creating this super cool awesome jewelries rings that are heavy this is called the pandora my wish gray pearl this is also the reason why it takes so long for me to create Pandora videos, especially if it's a haul, if it's uh, what's in my Pandora, because I always 100% make sure that I know the names of the items and I have the item number. I put them on the screen. It's a lot of effort to type them individually to share with you. And then I also put all of the names and then the item number on the description bar because that is how I want them also when I watch videos. I do not want to keep on guessing. Mm -hmm. uh, it's like lightly twisted. Not like super twist like the rope ring, but it's like slightly twisted just so 
it has this uh, cool design onto the ring. It's really nice. And that's how it looks. I also tried to uh, to stack it uh, with bright lights and the ocean treasure. So I put the bright lights underneath because it's also a big size. And then my wish. And then the ocean treasure on top because it's perfect with all this uh, gray pearls also right here. So this is my stack. I can also go um, crazy and bougie and uh, have a big stack like I usually do. I could even have the quartzite like so. And then I could also put the other pearl and then it goes like this and then put this on top. And oh my gosh, this type of stacking is something that I live for. I barely, yes, I barely share my ring stacking on my Instagram feed, on my posts. But I have them sometimes in the stories. I have them on my videos. And that's where I share my ring stacking ideas, usually here on YouTube. I have lots of other ring stacking videos. You can check it out on my Pandora playlist or I can put some on the description down below so you could see my ring videos if you like this type of videos or just look it up on on YouTube here just type in fierce Zai Pandora rings just type that and it will show you all the ring collection videos hauls and stacking ideas that I've made so it will help you guys all right for yourself guess what the most unfortunate thing happened to me so I have to refilm this again because the first time I filmed this it was only one up to six that was filmed the rest was corrupted and I have 20 here oh my goodness so okay let's do this again <laughs> all right so I am on the number seven right now and it's this ring and this one, this beauty, is called the Pandora Cherry Blossom Bouquet with pink enamel and white pearl in this beautiful ring. Yes. So this one, um, I believe, is a bigger size than what I had before. So if you have been following me, um, I have this one already. But this, that small one, I am going to give to Mary of Pandora Dreams by Mary for our beauty swap because she have smaller uh, fingers. And I know that she wanted to have this ring. So I got that one for her. And I really love Cherry Blossom and hopefully I will have all of the Cherry Blossom Pandora jewelries on my collection. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully soon. And then moving on to the next one. And I have this ring right here, which is called the Pandora Rose Garden ring with the pink enamel. It's just so stunning. So this one has the ever so popular clips that are so beautiful charm i have the earrings for this one um, and of course i have this before also so this is my second one but um i am going to give this second one to my friend and this is going to be her first pandora item ever and this is going uh, to be for my friend MJ of MJ's Dresser. So her channel is right here. And please go ahead and follow her. She does lots of uh, beauty videos just like what I do. And we met through YouTube. So yes, now she's here with me in Sweden. So that's that. So it's a very special, pretty, pretty, pretty ring. And it's going to be very, very significant. I love sharing my Pandora. So my Pandora grew quite a lot. But... A lot of them I have been sharing to my family, to my friends. So some of the items that are that used to be on my collection, I probably have already shared them or gave them away. But don't you worry, when I do an update of my collection, you will still see that I still have 
a quite an abundance of collection even though I stopped hoarding already. Ring number nine on this collective haul is this ever so beautiful ring right here which is called the Pandora Autumn Wind with Lime and Champagne and Brown Cubic Zirconia. This is one of those vintage staples, very pretty long retired rings. I love it and I'm really happy that this is part of my collection now. Um, I got this also from the same place, jewelry store here in Sweden, that um, I bought my long retired Pandora jewelries from, like my Pandora brooch, Pandora time beads, rings, and other charms and um, other clips. That's where I got it. But it's so pretty. Look at those swirls that really represent autumn wind. And the autumn colors there, the greens, browns, just really, really pretty. This tent ring, it doesn't really have like this cool name from Pandora websites or I was not able to see even though I thoroughly researched on it. So if you know the name, then put it on the comment section down below, please. This one is the Pandora ring with blue topaz, green moonstone, and sky blue cubic circle. Yeah, one of those vintage staples also, or the long retired ones. Just really cool design. I love it. And so, it looks like this on. really pretty it's a little bit like the like protruding on this side but i like it it's quite unique and i think i could use this for stacking also for the 11th ring that i am going to share with you we are going next level up right here and this ring is a familiar ring isn't it it looks very similar to an ever so popular pandora ring which is the nature's serenity ring let me just go ahead and grab that ring also to compare so here is the nature's serenity ring right here with the blue topaz moonstone and cubic zirconia and then this ring looks a little similar right I cannot really find the special name for this ring either. I tried and then I tried to put the item number, but it does not show up anywhere. But I have found a photo of an old catalog and it looks like this. So it just says R740270 Zirconia and it used to be 42 euros. So as you see, the moonstone is right there at the top and this item number 11 is on the bottom so there it just looks so nice so of course i could wear it alone like so this is size 52 or i can stack it with my nature serenity ring and this is a pretty cool stack you know that i love to stack my nature serenity ring with so many different rings I think it would fit my middle finger for now because I gained a lot of weight <laughs> yeah so there you go and that is ring number 11 for ring number 12 it's this one so this is the second one that I got of this ring also because the first one was given to me on a swap and then this one I found but I am going to give my second one to my mom because I know that she likes rings also and she doesn't have a black ring like this yet so this ring is called the Pandora Secret Winds it's a melanite ring on some sides, on some catalogs, it says that it was a black spinel. However, if we look at the item number, it's 190851ME, and ME stands for melanite on the catalog of Pandora when they talk about gemstones and semi precious stones. So I think that's a melanite. <laughs> yeah, so there and the first one that I got 
is that one and then this is the other one so I have two now one for my mom and one for me and this is how it looks when you have it on very pretty with those swirls also right there and that represents the wind if you notice that earlier our autumn wind has swirls also so that's a pandora style before when there's swirls it represents the wind and that's all for this next ring i also now have in two and since i have two and i do not normally want to keep lots and lots of rings that are the same i love to give them to my mom instead so she can build her own pandora collection also it's this ring and you have seen this bazillions of times here on my channel because i love 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 the amethyst posted lots of photos of these on my instagram at fierce asai and this one is called the pandora pink amethyst item number is 190850 pam and pam stands for pink amethyst yes i know it really looks like a violet or purple on the naked eye just like so but yeah that's what it says there and another website calls it Floral Elegance Light Amethyst. So that's another way, name that we could call it. This is how it looks when you have it on. It's very pretty, it's so stunning. Um, you could wear it just like so. Or, of course, I love to stack this also with the upcoming rings that you will see after this one. But just wanted to share that this is the other ring that I got. And the other one is for my mom. Oh, I just noticed that. This new ring is much more lighter. It's much more pinkish than the old one that I got. Yeah, that is so true. Could you see that? It's actually lighter and this is more of like a violet-ish. Okay, that's so cool. Because since Pandora is using, or they used, semi-pressure stones before, then of course, most of the gemstones could not be the exact you know they don't really look the exact same just like how they are on the essence charms yes so moving on to our 14th and 15th ring because i have two so i have this before on my collection and it makes it three now so i have three of these but i added two more one i'm gonna give to my mom since she have um this ring in pink amethyst and i also gave her the similar ring like this in the moonstone it's very nice to stack together but before i forget i'm gonna tell you that the name of this rings um is wanda's garden ring yeah that's the one this garden ring so put this back right here it's a very nice stacking ring and i have them here on different sizes one is a little bigger and then one is a little smaller the little bigger one i love to put at the bottom as the base and then i use the smaller one to be the the one on top to secure the rings so if you wanted to see how it could be stacked i could grab this ring again the pink amethyst put it like so and then get the one for my topper and lock it and it's gonna look like this and that's the reason why I like two of these for this stacking rings I love to have at least two of them but for the statement rings I'm okay with just having one unless it was really 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 my ultimate favorite nonetheless i would love to share them instead especially to my mom or to my aunts and then to the next the ring one. right here the 16th one is no other than this beautiful pandora garden odyssey black spinel ring it's just so stunning also that indent ring with a round faceted spinel on the sides it um, has a little bit of the spinel also in the middle of that 
bigger flower because there's two flowers here a bigger and a smaller one and it's oxidized just so stunning it's very pretty the band is really nice also with this plain one and then in the middle is a bubble and it's really pretty this is how it looks when you have it on so stunning so my mom have the pearl version of this one i plan to also grab the similar ring for her so we're twinning again but i do not have the pearl one yet if i am not mistaken because i gave that to her so but i know where to get it and there it's still there so i'm gonna grab myself the other one also this next ring have been on top of my wish list for a very long time and finally I have this Pandora and the Fright Jade ring. It's just so beautiful with a real jade in the middle back when Pandora is making this very beautiful intricate designs on Pandora rings. Just very stunning with some flowers at the lower right corner. So beautiful. For the 18th ring, we have the Pandora Flower Bloom, also known as the Forever Bloom, or the Pandora Garden Bouquet Ring, which is very pretty with black spinel. And 14k gold for the inner part. This is so stunning. So this is, um, it, it should be more oxidized than this, but since I bought this as the last item on the same jewelry store, the oxidation faded so i have to reoxidize this ring but this is how it looks when you have it on it's just so stunning and you can just wear it just like this no need for stacking it but if you want maybe you could but it's just so pretty like so 19th ring, second to the last, will be this one. It's a pretty one. And this one is called the Pandora Stella Stars Ring. And you know that gender of my expressions is the one that influenced me with this ring because she have a good collection of all of the Stella items. And it was really stunning. So I went on a hunt for them too. I love it. Um, I believe I got mine in size 50, size 50, and I have the other Stella ring also, which is a single one because this one is the, the much more thicker band with about um, two, four, six, seven. It's like seven single bands that are combined all together. There's one big star here and then two smaller ones. So, of course, there's some um, gold in the middle of those round things that are holding the diamonds. Those are real diamonds back when Pandora are still using real diamonds, which is super cool. This is the other Stella ring that I got, which is just a single band. And the star is just a tiny bit bigger here than on this um wider band so it looks like this and this is, is the difference between the two of them just so stunning and i love the oxidation of it really gives this oomph, really rocker style um type of feeling but yeah i love it it's so pretty and i'm really happy that i finally have it i have the earrings for this one and then a necklace also and the last but definitely not the least, you probably will only see this here on my channel. I have never seen this anywhere else yet. Nothing on Instagram, on Facebook, or Pinterest. But this is a vintage Pandora ring. And it's this one. And it's from the Tomelis or the Tumbelina collection. It's a very unique green piece and if you notice this is back when about 80s late 80s early 90s this is the design of the Pandora rings and it's really awesome so this is my first of those crazy vintage rings and I'm 
going to collect those also, trying to hunt them also. But um, for now, this is the only piece that I have from back when it's still the founder of Pandora who's still designing and making the jewelries. It's just really pretty. I love it. It's so unique. Very nice ring to add to my collection. Just really nice with all of these leaves surrounding the tambalina face and then a little bit of flowers over there and a thicker band Everybody, those here. are the 20 collective rings that i have for you today and then the next video finally sharing with you what's on my pandora two-tone bracelet i have um accumulated some more two-tone charms but they do not fit on this bracelet anymore and i do not plan to start any more <laughs> uh two-tone bracelets but let's see let's and then there you have it everybody thank you so much for watching this video and i hope that you like it and you enjoyed this um, Pandora rings and you enjoy them stacking with me or having some ideas on how to wear these items because I love rings in general and you know my passion for Pandora rings and yes so for the next video coming up you will see uh, Pandora composed earrings earrings and um, we will have uh, already filmed the Pandora necklaces and brooch you will also see Pandora watches and time beads together in one video and then the Pandora collective charms as well and I will also show to you my um, current stacker situation and you know that I have been using stacker since oh my god when um I think I started 2017 I started 2017 and I have some videos about it but um, I have some more and then I keep on like uh, rearranging it every now and then so you will see that on my next video. Let's continue the conversation on the comments down below. Hit the thumbs up button if you like it. See you on my next video and remember to stay fierce and fly high.